The Attack of Pearl Harbor Pearl Harbor, located near Honolulu, Hawaii, is a U.S. naval base that became the site of a devastating surprise attack by Japanese forces on December 7, 1941. On that fateful Sunday morning, just before 8 a.m., a large number of Japanese fighter planes descended upon the base, managing to inflict severe damage on nearly 20 American naval vessels, including eight battleships and more than 300 airplanes. Tragically, over 2,400 Americans lost their lives in the attack, including civilians, and around 1,000 others were injured. The day following the assault, President Franklin D. Roosevelt appealed to Congress to officially declare war on Japan. Japan's Road to War The surprise attack on Pearl Harbor marked a critical event, yet tensions between Japan and the United States had been building for many years. The United States had grown increasingly displeased with Japan's aggressive approach towards China. In response to its economic and demographic challenges, Japan believed that territorial expansion into China and capturing its import market was the solution. Consequently, Japan initiated a war against China in 1937, which resulted in tragic events like the Nanking Massacre and other atrocities. In reaction to Japan's aggressive actions, American officials implemented a series of economic sanctions and trade embargoes. The intention was to force Japan to scale back its expansionist activities by cutting off its access to essential resources like oil and goods. However, rather than yielding to the pressure, Japan became more resolute in its stance. Lengthy negotiations between Tokyo and Washington, D.C. failed to produce any compromises, leaving both sides unwilling to back down. It appeared that war between the two nations was becoming increasingly inevitable. Japan's plan. The Japanese had a straightforward objective, to cripple the Pacific fleet, rendering the American forces powerless while Japan expanded across the South Pacific. After months of meticulous planning and preparation, the Japanese executed their attack on December 7th. Around 8 a.m., the skies above Pearl Harbor were filled with Japanese planes, raining bombs and bullets upon the anchored vessels below. At 8.10, a massive 1,800-pound bomb found its way through the deck of the battleship USS Arizona, reaching its forward ammunition magazine. The explosion caused the ship to sink rapidly, tragically trapping over 1,000 men inside. Subsequently, torpedoes struck the battleship USS Oklahoma, which had 400 sailors on board. The vessel lost stability, rolled onto its side, and slipped beneath the water. In less than two hours, the surprise attack concluded, leaving every battleship in Pearl Harbor significantly damaged. The attack's impact. The Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor had a devastating impact, resulting in the crippling or destruction of nearly 20 American ships and over 300 airplanes. The attack also caused significant damage to dry docks and airfields. Tragically, the loss of life surpassed 2,000 people. Despite the severity of the attack, the Japanese failed to incapacitate the Pacific fleet fully. During the 1940s, aircraft carriers had become the most crucial naval vessels, and fortunately for the U.S., all of the Pacific Fleet's carriers were away from the base on December 7. Some had returned to the mainland, while others were engaged in delivering planes to troops stationed on Midway and Wake Islands. Additionally, essential onshore facilities at Pearl Harbor, such as oil storage depots, repair shops, shipyards, and submarine docks, remained intact after the assault. This played a pivotal role in allowing the U.S. Navy to recover relatively swiftly from the attack. The death toll. The attack on Pearl Harbor resulted in the tragic loss of 2,403 U.S. personnel, comprising sailors, soldiers, and civilians. Additionally, 1,178 individuals were wounded in the onslaught, and 129 Japanese soldiers also lost their lives. On December 8, the day following the devastating events, President Franklin D. Roosevelt addressed a joint session of the U.S. Congress. In his memorable speech, he declared, Yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. He expressed his conviction that the American people, with their resolute determination, would ultimately achieve absolute victory, no matter how long it might take to overcome the premeditated invasion. President Roosevelt further asserted that the United States would not only defend itself to the utmost but would also take measures to ensure that such treacherous acts would never endanger the nation again, confidently reflecting the will of both Congress and the American people. USA entered WW2. Following the Pearl Harbor attack, 
A significant shift occurred as, for the first time after years of deliberation and debate, the American people stood united in their resolve to enter into war. On December 8, Congress granted approval to President Roosevelt's declaration of war against Japan. Within three days, Japan's allies, Germany and Italy, also declared war on the United States. If you liked this video and would like to see more like it check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.